Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And breathe in a way that feels good, in a way that feels refreshing. You have your own sources of potentials for happiness right here, right now. You want to make, take advantage of them. Because we go through life looking for happiness outside, which means we get indebted to things outside. We get dependent on things outside. That puts us in a position of weakness, in a position of poverty. We need them to help. Whereas if you realize you've got resources inside, and you can develop them, because then you have inner wealth. And this inner wealth has a value that stays solid. It's not like the wealth of the world, where a change in the economy, a change in the weather, a change in society, and all of a sudden your, wor your wealth is worth nothing. Inner, worth has a, inner wealth has a worth that stays solid and stays constant. It starts with conviction. We're convinced of the Buddha's awakening and of what that means for our own lives, which is that he was able to find true happiness through human effort. And he did it through qualities that we all have in potential form, so we can develop those qualities and find awakening too. He was able to go beyond suffering. We can go beyond suffering too. But it depends on our actions. And this is the main message of the awakening, is that your actions make all the difference. So you have to be careful about what you do, but have a sense of confidence that the good things you do don't go to waste. The effort you put into being skillful is effort well managed. And when you believe in the power of your actions, okay, that's your wealth right there. There are people who believe that their actions have already been decided by their DNA or by forces outside of their control. And that leaves them poor. They don't realize the potential they have in their thoughts and their words and their deeds to create true happiness. And so all the other forms of noble wealth, the sense of shame, the sense of compunction, virtue, learning, generosity, discernment, don't have a chance of getting developed. But if you have conviction, that one thing can help lead all the other forms of inner wealth to get developed. So believe in what you do. Believe in what you say. Believe in what you think. That these things are important and that you can shape them. There may be influences coming in from past karma, but you also have your freedom to choose in the present moment what's the most skillful thing to do with what you've got. So hold on to that conviction. Because that's what makes you wealthy. No matter what happens to the society outside, you've still got your inner wealth. And that will see you through. <laughs>